and with a lot of patience from this mini production that I have managed somehow. I've been teaching for about 16 years and I started with it very slowly, slowly introducing Ashtanga Yoga to the community in San Antonio. So I'm very used to being in front of my students. I, you know, yoga, Ashtanga Yoga is about energy that you generate through your breath and these internal knots when you activate internal muscles. Uh, we do care, uh, we are very specific about alignment, but we don't hold the postures for too long in able to engage all these different muscles or techniques. What we do is just a free breathing movement so we can uh, penetrate deeper layers into our physical body, then our energy body, into our emotional body, into our internet, and definitely to the soul. It takes many practices, many, many years. So, well, we all start somewhere. So, I want you to cross your legs in a comfortable position, and uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, I'm used to be in front of my students. So many times I have ideas of a class, but when I'm in front and I feel them and I understand their bodies, their, the way they're thinking, the way they're feeling, um, that's how I teach the class. So it's not cookie cutter. Uh, you're going to do your be the best you can. So we're going to sit and we're going to ground. So if you can start doing this little flexion and extension of your spine, you slowly, slowly flexion and extension of the spine, and a little bit more. So we're going to do a lot of this through the practice. This time stay tall, and then roll the coccyx onto the ground, keep the chin parallel to the floor, I reach the crown of the head to the ceiling. Then place your hands on your knees and concentrate on your breath. So we're going to start inhaling and exhaling through the nose only and producing the audible sound. I, I taught a little bit of that breathing um, through a video that I just recorded in Pranayama. So this is a breathing with sound, but we're not holding the breath at any time during the practice. So we're inhaling with the sound, exhaling with the sound, engaging the vocal cords, like trying to say on with the lips together. So let's give it a try, inhale. Picking up the pelvis, the pelvic floor. So in my first yoga classes, I, I used to say, what, why, what do the teacher is meaning by lift the pelvic floor? So we're going to squeeze the area between anus and genitals, like trying to hold going to the bottom. So we this picking in and up. And then on the bread, we're going to hollow our belly the best we can. And we're going to bring the breath to the upper lungs and expand it and close it, trying to breathe only with the upper body, keeping the lower belly in and up. Slowly, slowly, you're going to start understanding these muscles, these internal muscles, how to engage them better. So let's do that breathing with the inflection and extension of the spine. So we're going to inhale and extend the spine. Exhale and flex the spine. Inhale. Exhale. It's like a natural movement. And I'm not going to keep going. Now we're going to go on our hands and knees and do more flexion and extension of the spine. So 
your hands shoulder width apart, your knees hip width apart, more or less under your hip bones. So take a deep breath and extend the spine. Exhale and flex. Inhale, extend. Exhale and flex. Inhale. Exhale, flex and sit on your heels. Drop the head. Inhale, come forward. Extend the legs, lift the knees, lift the chest. Exhale, go back on your knees, on your feet, on your heels. Inhale, come forward, extend. Exhale, go back, flex. Sit on the heels, empty all the breath. Inhale, come to upward facing. Exhale, go to a mini down facing. Inhale, lift the legs, and exhale, drop the head. Keep doing that. Inhale, lift your gaze. Exhale, drop the head. Inhale, lift, look towards your fingers, towards the front of your mouth. Exhale, drop the forehead on the ground. Stay there for a few breaths. So separate your fingers, wrists are facing the front of your mat, you drop the head. Come on up force again, inhale, tuck the toes, exhale, lift the hips, try to ground the heels, separate your feet, keep with a part towards your navel, and breathe into the upper back. So that, imagine you're feeling up the upper back, Breathing into your armpits helps with that vacuuming of the breath. So lifting the pelvic floor, squeeze between the anus and genitals. Pick up, so I'm going to accelerate. This is dropping the spine, collapsing. This is lifting, lifting the navel into the spine, engaging the abdominal muscles in and up, breathing into the upper back for down facing dog. Breathe with sound. Come on, up force again. So now, inhale, look forward. Exhale, work on our ground by the lower body only. Looking forward, top the toes. Come to a high plank, turn the shoulders as much as you can. And exhale, go forward and down. And if you can, Hold it up, you can come down, turn your toes. Now, if you're all the way down, make sure your hands are a little bit behind your shoulders and you're thrusting yourself forward with a brain and pushing the floor to lift the chest for upward facing dog. So inhale, upward facing, roll the toes, exhale, downward facing. We're gonna stand on the tiptoes, Go forward, take a deep breath, lift the navel, lift the pelvis, go forward, Chaturanga and Rasana, and exhale, come down. Cross yourself forward, inhale, and exhale, downward face. Breathe into the upper body, into the upper back. Stand on your tiptoes again, lift the seat bones, lift the navel, exhale, bring the knees down. Now, we're going to inhale, extend the leg, exhale, bring the knee towards your nose, exhale. Inhale, exhale, knee to the nose. One more time, inhale, exhale. Knees together. Left side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Knees together. Come to a high plank again. Let's practice Shakurangara Dasana. 
So inhale, bring the shoulders forward, forward. Exhale, push back with your heels, your pelvis, and come back for that. Thrust yourself forward and up. Upward facing, roll the shoulders, and exhale, lateral face. Breathe up. So, come to your knees. When we come to Chaturanga and Asana, we will have to come to the floor. We go, and then you come up to upward facing. Make sure your shoulders are on top of your hands. Because if they're forward, you're going to get stuck in your back. You're going to get stuck. It's going to be back for your lower back. So we're trying to keep pushing the floor, keep the shoulders on top of the hands. And just follow the tip of your nose. Please don't force the legs. So inhale. And exhale, down face. Come up to your knees. Bring the right foot forward between the hands and the left knee down. And then you stay there a few breaths. Practice your breathing with sound, with the pelvis. Bring the ribs in, lift the chest, shoulders back. Practice your breathing with sound, chin parallel to the floor. Inhale, 
exhale, and right here, just hop, just a little hops, and exhale. Do the one more between the hands, you can shorten your stand, you can walk your feet between your hands, or you can do that a little hop forward. Inhale forward, exhale forward in. Might be too much right now. You can bend the knees to, to drop your head. And then you can come up to stand. And then exhale there. Okay? Now I'm going to give you a shot to see soil sanitation A. We put all the things together. Uh, hopefully you warm up a little bit. What I'm trying is to teach you how to synchronize the breath with the movement. Um, it's a, bit, a little difficult to do it and uh, to teach it at the same time, but I'm going to do my best. So, inhale, hands up. Exhale, bend forward, hands next to your feet. You have to bend the knees, drop the head. If you're bending the knees, place the hands in front, inhale, and exhale, step back, and lower Shakuranga. I'm going to make it like an kind of hold it. Inhale to upward facing, I'm using my feet to do that also, and exhale down face. Breathe with sound. Practice your breathing. After five deep breaths, Look forward, you can do that little hop, or you can bring the right foot, then the left. Remember always to be, do this inhale here, and exhale here. Inhale, hands up, palms together, look at the thumbs, exhale, arms to the sides. And again, inhale. Push the thumb in the chest, reach with the hands, Exhale, bend forward, and where you go, all the way around, head in. Inhale, head up. Exhale, step back, lower shakranga. Inhale, upward. And exhale, down. Breathe up. One. Two. Three. Four, five, um, bring the feet to the front and then walk on top. Inhale, exhale, bend forward, hands next to your feet. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands up. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, step up. Inhale upward. Exhale down. One. Two. I'm probably fine with looking at you. I will tell you, pick up the ribs from the floor, bring the navel, ground the heels, breathe into the upper back, four, five, and jump on feet. Inhale, exhale, bend forward. Inhale, stand up, hands up. Exhale, arms to the sides. We're going to start with some salutation B, so we're going to start at B. Bend the knees, hands up, all at the same time. Inhale. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, step back and lower, exhale. Inhale, to upward. Exhale, down. You can start by bringing the knees. Bring the right foot, keep breathing while I'm talking. 
lift the knee, arm on your heels, center, take that deep breath to come up. And exhale, go back down. And lower Shakurana, and then we floor from hover. Inhale, upward. Exhale, down face. Come on to your knees. Bring the left foot forward. Lift the knee. Arlo. Center. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Go down. You can lower the knees and come down. Inhale upward. Exhale down the face. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now bring the feet to the front and then walk for the jump. Inhale. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, bend the knees, hands up, and exhale, sounds deep. So, now you're going to do it by yourself, okay? Imagine I'm doing just follow the voice. Inhale, bend the knees, hands up. Exhale, fall forward into the breath, roll the hips, bring the head in. Inhale, extend the spine, look up. Exhale, push the floor and step back to Shakulanda and Dasana, empty the breath. Very strong legs. Inhale, upward facing, push the floor, push the floor, and exhale, double facing. Bring the right foot forward between the hands and angle your left. Center, and inhale, hands up. Look at the thumbs reaching. Exhale, step back and lower to Shakulanda. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring the left foot forward, and hold the right, square to the front. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower, shakranga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Breathe there. One, just follow the voice. Ground by pushing the floor away from you with what is touching. Ground the heels, stretch your fingers. Three, pick up the ribs, squeeze and lift the pelvic floor. Four, five, walk or hop to the front. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, bend the knees, hands up. Exhale, hands to the sides. That's to let you concentration for now. Now we're going to do our first formal forward bend. Separate your feet hip width apart. And I want you to hold your hips right here. Just four fingers below your navel to the sides. These little holes in the tension that we have. And hold your hips, put your fingers right there. Take a deep breath. And then we're going to start the forward bend by hollowing. So it's picking up the pelvis, lift, hollow, close the ribs, and bend forward. Maybe right here. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bend forward. Bring your hands next to your sides. Bend the knees for now. Touch the back of your legs. This is just a drill to warm up your forward bend. Inhale, exhale, extend. Slowly, slow. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, extend. One more time. Inhale, and exhale, extend. Inhale, take your elbows, drop the head, drop your elbows, breathe there. Just a few breaths. Breathe with sound. Always inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Inhale. 
Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to the sides. So we inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, stay there. So we're going to do the next. The first postures of standing sequence is Padamushtasana, that means holding it tall. So that's what we're going to do, even if you have to bend the knees. So exhale, bend forward, touch the toes. We always inhale to be prepare. Exhale, bend forward for five breaths. One. So if your hips are too way back, drop them forward on top of the heels. Two. Breathe up. Look through your legs to the tip of the nose or where you can keep balance. Four. Balance first. Five. Inhale, head up. Exhale, there. Bring the palms under with the toes on your wrist. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward, bend again. Parastasana. Now knees your hands under your feet. Three. Four. So I have to extend my knees. I have to be on myself to micro bend. Five. Inhale, up. Exhale, there. Inhale, come up. And exhale, feet together to this position. Samastiti. So, it is neutral position, chin parallel to the floor, crown of the head to the ceiling, reach the back of the body, ground it down, lift the chest, equal standing. Samastiti. So, we're gonna, I'm going to pretend I'm on this side of the mat for now, because the next posture we step to the right. So, stay on the side you are, step to the right. Inhaling, extend the arms, and the right toes, heel with the arch of the foot, and then we're going to bend sideways. And we, maybe you can reach here, okay? When you can reach the big toe, you catch it, find balance, and look up. Balance is first. So, if you cannot reach, just touch your leg, okay? And keep the arms straight, it's an equilateral triangle. Keep breathing, four. Five, then you're going to come up nice and easy, like Tai Chi transition. If you need to take an extra breath, and exhale, go the other side. Breathing up. Stretch, hopefully straight down with the arms. Breathing up. Three. Four. Five. I'm going to ask you to come back to the front. We're going to finally do the sequence to make it more accessible. Now again, step to the right. Ukita Pashvapunasana. Side down. And bend the knee. And inhale. Reach the arm to the palm facing down. Then extend. Heel with your arch. Turn the chin to your arm to look at your feet. Breathe there. Breathing in so. So the first one was triangle posture, Uttita Trikonasana. This one is Uttita Parshvapunasana. Four. Five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, left side. Breathe up. Three. Four, don't move. Five, inhale, come up to standing. And exhale, samastiti. Stay at the front of your mat with this neutral position. Equal standing and paying attention. Now we're going to step to the right, inhale, and catch your waist. Feet wide. Wider stand. Take an extra breath there. Exhale, bend forward, place the hands between your feet. Take a deep breath, and you're going to drop the head, okay? Eventually, you walk the hands and bring the crown of the head to the floor. Or stay where you feel comfortable and balanced, where you can breathe, concentrate on your breath. Strong legs, four, five. Inhale, up, exhale, there. 
Inhale, come up. Exhale, touch your waist. So this is called Prasarita Padokonasana A. Now B. Inhale, extend the arms to the sides. Exhale, touch your waist. Inhale, lead the spine, lead the ribcage. Exhale, bend forward. So the belly, crowding it down. One, strong legs. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale there. A little bit more challenge. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, bring the hands back and interlace the fingers behind. Take that, that extra breath, inhale. To prepare, exhale, fall forward, reaching the hands away from you. Reaching the hands and eventually more, more, more. Three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale, touch your waist for the last one. We hold the waist. We start here, take a deep breath. Exhale, bend forward, take the toes, three fingers. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, bend forward. Prasarita Padutanasana, D. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, look forward. Exhale there. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale to the front. I'm going to go back to my this front. Samastiki. Then, partial Tadasana. We're going to start by bringing the hands together in right behind you with the palms together. If this is too hard, you're going to give it a try. You can start from here. Sometimes people tell me they cannot do it. And then I bring them to this place and then they go, oh, I can do it. I can do it. Okay? So, if you definitely can do that and feel more comfortable, bring the, the knuckles together. Okay? Otherwise, palms together. Parshvottanasana. Again, step to the right. Always to the right. Align heel with heel. And then bring forward over your front leg. For five breaths, even if it's little, okay? Just first attempts. Three, four, five. Inhale, come up and turn around. And exhale, bend forward. Again, five breaths, stay there. Five breaths. Inhale, come up, and exhale, sounds deep. We're going to try to, just going to do a baby one. Okay, Upita Asta Paranoshtasana means holding the big toe. So let's start to see if you can stand on one leg, lift the right knee, and take your big toe. So just stay there. If you can, you extend the leg, extend the leg, okay? Otherwise, stay here. All I want you to do for now, is to extend your leg and hold your hips. Take another breath and exhale, release. Sapa in your rehearsal. Udita asta palamushtasana. Knee up. Touch your toe from inside the leg. You can stay right here or extend. Now take your hips, on the toes. Balance. Exhale down. So the next one is a little bit more challenging, more opening of the hips, which is the whole idea of this primary series, this forward bend, opening the hips. Let's give it a try to hold your leg like this. Then you catch it, you scoop it your, like, the, like this, point the toe, knee to the side. Just a rehearsal. And exhale, release. The left side, keep breathing while I'm talking. Inhale, exhale all the way out all the time. Now, 
the your hands under, point the toes, lift the body, heel, rotol, just grab this, grab this, and exhale, release. We're going to do another one of those sun sensations. A, inhale, hands up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, go. Exhale, step back, Chaturangi. Inhale, upward. Exhale, down face. Look between your hands. Hop or walk. Bend the knees. Hands up. So you're going to hold here for five breaths. Put Kadasana. One, keep the knees bent. Two, three, four, five. Stay where you are with the knees bent. Bring the hands in front of you. Shift all the way to the hands, maybe a tiny bit on your tiptoes, and jump back. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down face. You're going to stand tall on your hips, bring the right foot forward and the left. For now, this is okay. Square to the front, inhale, knee on top of your ankle. One, look up at your fingers. Two, stay there. Three, four, Stay there. If you're looking up, you're just going to transition to the other side. And exhale. Other side. One. Two. Stay there. Three. Four. Five. And stay there a second more. Try to see you only need to open your arms for warrior two. That was warrior one, this is warrior two. Three, four, five. Inhale them up, turn the feet, exhale, right side. One, two, three, four, Five. Reach both hands to the floor. And then you're going to lift the hips. Jump back. Inhale upward. Exhale. Downward face. Lift the hips. And then your tiptoes. Shorten your stand. We're going to transition to sitting. Travel, travel, travel. This one. Then the left. Try to keep the hands where they are without moving them, hands to the sides. Breathe up. Deep breath. This is a neutral position for the sitting, Dandasana. Looking at the tip of the nose, flex your feet, activate the legs, suck the belly in, look at the tip of the nose. Inhale, take the big toes. Exhale, then for Passion of the Nasa. And I'm not giving that much your names right now. All I want you to do is to understand the transitions of inhaling and exhaling. And just getting introduced to the first important postures. Inhale, go. And exhale, bring the hands back. Now we're going to do the transition to go back to Shatranga. How do we do that? The easiest way, come forward, bring the hands, step back and go to Shatranga. Inhale to upward, exhale, downward facing. Now we're going to go again, 
easy, okay? So the other, if you lower the hips, you stop. So when you walk in, if the hips higher and higher, travel some weight into the hands, bring the right foot, then the left, shush yourself through, and sit down. I'm going to go back onto my mat. So hands to the sides, point the toes, and take a deep breath to pull back the asana. So this one, you can just go through the way on the way to lift. Just give it a try. One, two, just give it a try, make the air. Three, if it's impossible, bend the knees and go to this position, but first try. Four, five, and exhale, come back. So this one was just the, the beginning of the practice. We're going to end up by crossing the legs, and I want you to pay attention. So what, what you did was this moving, synchronizing with your breath, with your movement, which is the main idea of Ashtanga Yoga. And we're penetrating into layers of the body. So um, the deeper we go, we access more stuff that we need to address in our lives, more stuff that is going to be healing, preventative in our health. And, uh, and just the main idea of this practice is to do it six times a week, or at least try three times at the beginning. You'll do these simple movements at the beginning, maybe. Uh, it be better. When we're ready to open the shala, we will give you a bit more personal instructions, which I like a lot because I can help much better. But now we have to do it like this, okay? And we do the best we can. So that internal lock for the root of the spine is called Mula Banda. So squeezing of the anus in and out, and then there's the second banda that we use during the practice for the breath, that is the lifting lock. Muna banda is for rooting, Udi Yana banda is for lifting, for flying up. So when we engage these abdominal muscles in and out, we're lighter. We're lighter and we feel we can control our bodies better. So we ground and we lift. Those opposing forces are helping our bodies to stretch, helping our respiratory system to find more channels of energy. So um, these channels of energy from Navisi Yoga are like you redirect the energy into your body depending on where you are in the posture. So if, if you're exhaling to this, take a deep breath, and exhaling and release, it's like squeezing and then letting all that oxygenated blood go into different parts of your body. Inhaling and exhaling. Bring your hands together. And I want to say today the opening mantra that we say every time we practice at the beginning of the, of the practice is to thank the many teachers. They discover this amazing tool for us, this gift, this sagit, the practice of yoga, and the, the practice of Ashtanga Yoga for you is the biggest gift. So take a deep breath. Let's say one more together. Oh. Sandara Shita Swatma Sukhava Bode Nishreya Se Yangarika Yamane Samsara Kalahala Mohashamke Abahu Purushakaram Chanka Chakra Sidarina Sahasra Shivasam Shwetan Pranamami Patanjali Om. Oh.
Thank you.